Getting up and running with SimSol is quite easy. In this video, we'll be activating your 30-day free trial, installing the SimSol program, and then converting your free trial into an actual paid license. So as you can see, I just signed up for a My SimSol account. I'm currently on the home page of My SimSol, and you can see the welcome panel up at the top. I'm going to go ahead and select the second one, which is activate my 30-day free trial. I'm now taken to the licenses section of my SimSol and I'm provided with the details of my 30-day free trial license. This license detail page provides me with some simple instructions on getting started. So the very first thing I need to do is go ahead and get SimSol installed. So I'll click this link here to start the download. While the download's in progress, I'll go ahead and jump to step two here, which is highlight and copy the activation code below. So I'm going to go to this box, highlight it, right click and select copy. Now that the downloads done I'll go ahead and start the install. I'll go down here to my downloads bar and click open. Get past the security warning click run and that'll bring up the SimSol installation splash screen. I'll go ahead and click install now. Some installation notes are provided here. I'll continue to the install. The first screen that's displayed in the actual installation is the license agreement. I just want to make sure I click accept license agreement and click next. Here's some further information regarding the license agreement. I'll go ahead and click OK. And the installation is now searching for any previously installed versions of SimSol. It's important that I don't have a SimSol folder already on the machine. If so, the installation won't continue. So the installation is now determined I don't have SimSol installed already, so I can go ahead and continue. This screen is showing me the installation paths it's going to create to copy all the installation files to. And I'll just click Next. This final screen once again verifies the installation path. I'll go ahead and click Next. And the install is now copying over the necessary files to install the software. Okay, while I'm waiting for the installation to finalize, I'll go ahead and close this window. Okay, and then finally I'll be brought to this installation complete screen. I'll go ahead and click finish. And that returns me back to my demo license detail page. I'm going to minimize this web browser for just a second and locate the icon that should be on my desktop now. Here it is. Go ahead and move it over here and open SimSol. Upon opening SimSol, this screen will finalize the copying of some of the installation files. Then we'll see the splash screen. And now the license activation screen appears. The activation screen has two different sections. Over on the right is the section for corporate users. If you work for an adjusting firm or a carrier that's paying for your SimSol license, you'll want to go ahead and use that option. But as an independent, I want to go ahead and just enter my My SimSol information and use my free 30-day trial. So I'm going to enter my My SimSol username, my My SimSol password, and the activation code that I copied from the demo detail page. So I'll right-click here and select Paste and click Submit. And just like that, I've now started my free 30-day trial of the SimSol software. Now your free 30-day trial begins the moment that you complete the registration screen that we were just looking at and you're able to get into the software. So at any time, I can go back to the My SimSol page, go to Licenses, and view my current demo license. As you can see, the license is active and it is my current demo license, which will give me 30 days of free usage of SimSol. If I click on that license once again, it'll tell me right here in the demo license details page, I have 29 days left and I can continue to use this free trial for the remaining time left on this license. As I look at the demo license detail page, there's some other information here. So once again, the effective date when it began, my expiration date, other information like my name, email, phone number, and the computer I currently have SimSol installed to. At any point during my free trial, if I decide I want to go ahead and purchase the license, I'll use this purchase option down here at the bottom. 
I can do this during my free trial or wait until the trial is over and the license has expired. When I click the Purchase License button, I'm taken through a checkout process where I can pick the amount of time I want to purchase on this license, and when I complete this process, my SimSol will automatically be updated and the license I've purchased will now reflect the time I have left on my SimSol software. So if I return back to the Licenses page, I can also buy additional licenses if I'm working with a small team of other adjusters and I want to allow them to use licenses as well. I would just use this Purchase option up here at the top. Now going back to the SimSol software, now that I'm in the software, if at any time I want to check the license details from within SimSol, I can just go to Help and System Unlock. And this will provide me with the license details that I'm currently using. The username, password, the current license being used, and when it expires. So that's the installation and activation process for SimSol. You can now move on to the next video, which will help you with getting started creating your first file.